I think we're alone now. Oh, yes. Isn't that a beaut? Well, so I've never actually worked on this bike. Jeez, no, I haven't. Um, in the three years I worked here, this is this was the team mascot for. Todd Brown Holdings. Uh, yeah. I can't believe he's got his mascot up for sale. Oh, gee, we had a phone number there. Try that again. There comes the phone number. Oh, I don't know if we got that. Well, anyhow, you look it up. I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, well, I'm guessing he just finally managed to convince himself to put this up. And he obviously doesn't really want to sell it. Because <clears throat> it's very special to talk. And I, I just loved it. Actually, I rarely had to move it, but it was often moved just about the lot. Mainly. Good drive once, once a month, whether she needed it or not. Todd always exercised all of the machines I worked on for him. He made certain, he spent that little bit of money each month to exercise them. Roof, roof. It's okay, bud. Yes, I missed you too. I've been away for, oh fuck, just about three years. Okay, yeah, let's go back here. I think the lighting's good enough. 1964. Uh, of course, it's got the six, the uh, two, 240 six cylinder, and uh, three speed standard, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, that's that's three on a tree. Uh, actually, I think that's all they came with. And it is custom cab. I don't know if we'll have enough light to go on the other side, but we'll try. Not sure, but no, I never actually asked Todd, but I think he may have actually done this himself as a when he was young and slightly more energetic, you know how it goes. Oh, go. oh hey, wait a minute, they've been doing something to it here. Uh, uh, I replaced the exhaust. Okay, maybe it's not a Well, that engine was in factory new shape, so. I know they didn't replace the engine. I guess the, the exhaust system, they obviously did. So that must mean if he's got dual exhaust, he must have put headers on the 240 right on. Because that's actually the kind of engine that's the only thing it needed was better breathing. Well, of course, better corporation. Parties could last a long time if you never overheated them. Bro! Isn't that a beautiful. Hmm. Uh, Todd, um, shit, I got a lottery ticket for one buck. Good luck. We'll see you shortly if I happen to win, okay, bud? You, uh, you were certainly most generous in my declining years with you there. Yeah, I had the uh, van version of this. 1964, just like this. In fact, just about the same point in the production. I think it was uh, April 6, 1964. Evening. Uh, as far as everything was perfect on it. Yeah, well, except for the exhaust was starting to get old because it wasn't sitting with steel exhaust, but obviously he's amended that quite well. Hey, Cindy, never introduced you to my neighbor, huh? Yeah, we would bark every day when I would show up. And just about every night when I would go home. Yep. You, you kind of knew, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she knows I'm like that with dogs. I could be in the middle of brain surgery and a dog walks by and it's like, oh, holy anointed, I need a hug. Wait. Oh, and puppies? <laughs> I could be in the middle of destroying a planet. Oh, 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 whoa, hold the show, there's a puppy there. <laughs> Cindy knows exactly what I mean, because we helped raise two of my her mom's batches, hers and her younger, the younger brood. Right, right, daddy bear? Well, there you go, guys. Lovely truck. You know, they were uh, zinc dipped, eh? And in the desert here, the semi-desert, that's why they lasted so long. My 1964 uh, Econoline van came actually from the next town over. New from the factory, the Osoyos. Refrigeration mechanic. I drove that old puppy for 10 years. He don't get out much. Oh, oh you okay? That's my uh, Rottweiler friend. Stocky little fella. Short but stocky, like a brick house. 